In Enugu State, the state government has approved the divestment of 60% equity of the United Palm Plantation Limited of 7,000 hectares of land to be resuscitated for modern palm plantation. This formed part of the resolutions reached at the State Executive Council meeting. Senior reporter Bamidele Ajayi has more. In an effort to divest an active state asset, Enugu State Government ratified a 100 billion naira deal with Pragmatic Palms Limited. The state is divesting 60% of the equity funding of the United Plant Plantation Limited to retain 40 with the aim to revive the Moribond Plant Plantation to a world-class facility. Revitalization of UPPL, we create jobs, and that is also in keeping to His Excellency's promise to revive all our Moribond assets. We are talking about total of uh, a little less than about 7,000 hectares. On the proposed Enugu Transport Central Station, the state government is promising to provide affordable, efficient transportation system. This is designed to ease movement of goods and people in the four densely populated areas. The state plans to revitalize augmented access to be the downtown and commercial center of the state. On the transport infrastructure project initiative that covers uh, the Enugu Central Station, which is uh, situated at uh, opposite Holy Ghost, the Gariki Central Station, the Ababa Central Station, and Nsuka Central Station, which are all part of the government effort to bring about affordable, efficient, and sustainable transportation system in the state. The state government also announced the construction of a five-star hotel inside the ongoing rehabilitated International Conference Center in Ogun. Part of the reason why we have not had any other international flight coming into Enugu is because they don't believe in any of the hotels we have here. So the need for this five-star hotel can never be emphasized. It is a sustained effort by the state government to revive dormant infrastructure, that the Presidential Hotel, International Conference Center, 